Hey everybody, welcome back. I wanna chat with you today about receptive skills. Receptive skills are your ability to read sign language. Um, I've noticed in teaching sign language and also in my own interaction in the deaf community that it is much easier to sign than to read sign. And that especially applies to the reading of finger spelling. Deaf people, you spell too fast. I mean, that word just whoop, right by me. I didn't catch it. So I wanna encourage you, if that happens, to ask the deaf person to slow down and spell it for you again. Um, hopefully over the course of time, with lots of practice on your receptive skills, you won't have to do that as often. And when you do ask them to spell it again, you won't necessarily have to ask them to slow down because you'll get better and better. I promise you will if you practice hard. Okay, so recently I've discovered a way of practicing that seems to be very effective for my students. Again, it's not a magic trick, it takes a lot of hard work, but it has helped to improve receptive skills. And I wanna share that with you today. Um, so this is not like a perfect analogy, but when you were learning to read, you were taught that certain letters come together in combinations of two or three to make one sound. Those are called blends such as the ST in stamp or the TR in tree. Okay, so those are phonetic blends. I wanna to talk to you about fingerspelling blends. There are certain hand shapes when it comes to fingerspelling that are so similar that when they occur back to back in a fingerspelled word, you can spot them as one fluid movement. Therefore, spot them as one sign, and that would mean that you can knock out two letters at a time when you're reading a finger spelled word, which is always helpful. So I wanna give you a few of those blends. There are many, I'm gonna cover three of them right now, and then talk to you about how you can practice uh, spotting these blends. Okay, so the first blend I wanna talk about is AT. So this is the hand shape for A, and this is the hand shape for T. So very similar, A, T. So when these occur back to back in that order in a word, then the only movement necessary is you start with the A and then the finger crosses over. Nothing else in the hand has to move, okay? So that's why it's called a blend. All right, so let's practice a few AT words and see if you can read them. All right, we'll start really basic. Ready? Again. One more time. Did you get it? The word was hat, okay? I'm gonna do one more really basic word. Here we go. Again. One more time. Did you get it? The word was sat. Okay, I'm going to do one more. This one is gonna be a little more complex, a little more advanced. So pay attention. Here we go. All right, again. One more time. The word was Patricia. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about another blend. The next blend I wanna talk about is UN. This is U, this is N. See how it, it just drops right down? Those two fingers just drop right down over the thumb. That's all they have to do to go from U to N. So as you can see, that's a one fluid motion, making it one sign. So when you see that in a word, you should be able to recognize it to the point that you know immediately that's U-N. You don't have to say U-N, it's U-N, okay? Um, let's do a few U-N words. Okay, let's start with a really basic one. Again. One more time. Okay, so the word was sun. Let's do another one, ready? Again, one more time. Oh, sorry, messed up, <laughs> one more time. Okay, the word was undo. Let's do one more. Here we go. Again. One more time. The word was unreal. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you another blend. The next one is E-N. This is the hand shape for E, this is the hand shape for N. 
See how easy that is to just to go from the E into a relaxed position where these two fingers kind of drop down just a bit and these two fingers go down over the thumb. Okay, so E, N, E, N. All right, so you need to learn how to recognize the E, N when it comes in a finger spelled word. So here we go, we'll do a couple of easy ones. Here's the first one. Again. One more time. Did you get it? The word was hen. All right, let's do another one. Ready? Again. One more time. The word was lend. Now I'm going to do a longer one. Here we go. Again. One more time. Did you get it? The word was spend. Okay, so I think the idea is clear. Do you want to learn how to recognize these blends when they occur in a finger spelled word so that you can knock out two letters at a time, which will help you to more quickly assess what the word is. Um, so how do we practically apply this? Well, ideally, you will have a partner that you can work with, somebody who can finger spell, and you have them make a list of words that contain these three blends, have them finger spell them to you, you tell them what they spelled. It doesn't matter if you get it on the first try or the 50th try, please don't give up because it's true that practice makes perfect and the repetition is the key to learning and all those great cliches. Okay, this works. I have students working on this right now and they're quickly improving their ability to read finger spelled words. So um, try that. If you don't have anyone to work with, um, if you don't know this, I am a sign language tutor and you can reach out to me and maybe we could set up a session or two so that we could get some practice in. All right, I hope you learned something new today. Have a great day, bye-bye.